Bukowski is uh, uh, going to continue to let people in as as we go forth. But I've seen uh, uh, many of the many of the faces uh, that I want to see. Um, students, if you're a student on this meeting, I need to see your face. <laughs> yes, please. No more, with, no more with the camera. Let me see your let me see your faces. There we go. Thank you. There's some more popping in. And excellent. Grown-ups, you have the option, but uh, uh, we'd also like to see your faces too. Let's uh, let's make this as much like one of our one of our old meetings as we uh, as we can get it. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks everybody for being here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Ms. Mahler, did you get uh, did you get the information you need? Maggie got you what you needed for uh, uh, for today. Yes, she did. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Thanks everybody. Thanks everybody for being here. This is wonderful, uh, and and this is my personal favorite meeting of the year uh, because we get to honor so many of our students. Um, uh, so let me do this. And those of you who have sound, uh, please uh, please pipe in um, if I'm doing something wrong or if you can't see my screen. Etc. 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 All right. Um, welcome everybody uh, to our to our general advisory meeting. Um, among uh, one of the fun things uh, for this for this meeting and for this year is is of course honoring these students. We also want to honor you, um, our general advisory council. Um, so a big big welcome to to board members, commissioners, um, administrators that are here, um, folks that have donated to uh, to help some of these scholarships happen. Um, uh, of course, our, our students, uh, parents, uh, staff members that are with us, and new members. Um, guys, we have a, a whole slew of new members, and I'm, and I'm very, very glad that they're with us. Um, this, is a, this is a great uh, organization to be a part of, Mercer County Technical Schools. And the General Advisory, advisory Council itself uh, really, really helps us to inform programming, um, to know what we're going to do uh, with, with funds and how we're going to help students and um, helps our instructors know industry trends and, and employment trends within our community. So thank you all for being here, for being a part of this. Um, just a couple of updates about Mercer County Technical Schools and what we've been up to um, based on feedback from community and business partners like you and from parents uh, and from students, um, because all of that factors into these decisions. We, we've had some uh, Perkins grant funding and um, among other funding, and uh, he's just some of the things that we've done. Um, in our adult evening school, we're getting feedback from employers that um, while the students did have a lot of those technical skills that they needed, some of them needed some soft skills. Some of them needed to know how to talk to a customer or interact with uh, other grown-ups or fill out some of the paperwork, things like that. Um, so we have uh, we provided laptops to these students for free um, with software embedded in it to teach them these soft skills. Um, these are online classes that our, uh, our students can take from the adult eating school. Um, we have hired consultants, another area that we found, uh, again, based on feedback from all of you, where we were, uh, where we were needing um, was more ELL student enrollment, um, as well as increasing awareness of career technical education in the ELL community. Um, so we have hired consultants to help us both increase our uh, uh, enrollment methods as well as um, up the knowledge of career technical education. Um, new upgraded microscopes for the criminalistics program, a new compressor system for the auto collision class. Um, we've already uh, met uh, P uh, Peter Corrigan from Princeton Microgreens, uh, gonna have a microgreens class um, that, that he's gonna be teaching for us. Uh, instructional and wellness coaching for our teachers. Our teachers, I, I, I can't say enough, enough, and I've been saying it all year, how much our teachers have done um, for our students, uh, pulling rabbits out of their hat every day. And um, not only uh, are, we, are we giving them professional development for, for different instructional techniques, but also wellness. Uh, we want to make sure that our teachers are okay because um, it can't, cannot have been easy on them. It's very nice to all be back in the building. Uh, tutoring, of course, for our students, uh, drones for the STEM Academy, and um, professional development uh, for, for uh, staff, as well as student workshops from Jonathan Catherman, uh, Dwayne West, uh, Matt Bellis, and many, many other great presenters um, working with the students. Um, we are back uh, as of April 19th, and it has been lovely. 
Uh, the staff is happy. The students are happy. Everybody's getting that hands-on instruction, and it's terrific. Um, in preparation of that, as this was happening, um, we shared the following uh, video. It's very short, one minute. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, just, just touting and announcing the fact that we were coming back on April 19th. Um, and these are also features some of the safety precautions that are in place. Hit it. On April 19th, our school will be returned. At MCTS, we're gonna do some hybrid learning. But you should also know the other option still cool. We still got online if our students choose to stay virtual. On Wednesdays, don't come in. I hope you catch my meaning. The building's closed on Wednesdays. Yo, custodians be deep cleaning. At home or here at school, make sure you go to class. And when you're here on campus, wash your hands and wear your mask. The message here is clear. Safety's our big concern. I got my second shot. It was the funky cold Moderna. No, don't play it again, please. There we go. Um, it is now time for our first award. Uh, here to present, this is the Malco Tools Head of the Class Award, and here to present that first award um, is our HVAC teacher, uh, Mr. Geis, and I'm going to stop sharing so Mr. Geis can have the floor. Hi, how's it going, everybody? Um, so I am presenting the Malco Tools Head of the Class Award uh, to Devin Seidorf. Uh, this is the award, by the way, if you can all see. It's a little certificate. He also receives um, a couple other things, which I'll get into in just a second. I just, uh, this, this award, um, it's given out to the students who, uh, one student who de has demonstrated excellence in various areas. Um, it can be for uh, several different uh, qualification areas, but uh, in Devin's case, uh, it meets all of them. Um, so basically, uh, Devin has been an exemplary student, especially given the environment uh, during COVID and all that. Uh, he's been an uh, exemplary young adult and also an employee. Uh, so he started out uh, working on CIE about halfway through the year and earned Employee of the Month while he was working. Um, he also has had zero absences, uh, zero tardies the entire year and has an A plus in the class. And on top of that, he studied for the EPA certification, which is an HVAC certification that allows him to handle and work with refrigerants. It's required to work in our field. Uh, and he got the, uh, he earned universal certification, which is the highest you can get on his very first try. He is an exemplary student and, and young man. So um, very proud to be able to award him the uh, head of the class. Uh, he will also get a Malco Tools backpack, which just arrived today. So here it is, Devin, if you can see it. Um, it is in the, the shop and uh, it is awesome. He can either get a set of tools worth like $75, $80 or this backpack, which is worth just as much. Uh, basically it's a tool backpack that you know the tools will not rip it it's very very highly durable and made of ballistic fiber and whatnot so he also is going to get even though it's a little small this is called a flip bit very very cool five sixteenths and quarter inch on one side and the other super usable i use it out in the field every day so he's getting one of them as well so congratulations uh devin i'm, I'm very proud to have known you and, and you did an amazing job and earned every bit of it so Terrific. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Geisen, and congratulations, Devin. Uh, way to go. We're all very happy for you. Um, next up, beg your pardon. Next up is the uh, Mercer County Vocational Education Association Awards, the MCVEA Awards. Um, the awards this year, we have uh, one award for each of our three academies, as well as um, 
one for each of our uh, shared time programs, uh, the SIPAC Center and the Aspen Center. Here to present those awards are Mr. Our, uh, is MCBEA representative, Mr. John Baldino. Hello, everyone. Uh, good to see everybody, and just want to congratulate everybody who's here today. Uh, so the Mercer County Vocational Education Association uh, takes collections every year from our members uh, of the staff, and we take these funds and give them to students uh, who are voted on. And so uh, just going through this, I, I want to give the student's name, which uh, either uh, campus they're on or what uh, program they're in and kind of what they're doing next year. Uh, so for the Culinary Academy, which is on the SIPEC campus, uh, Zadina Green, uh, she's going to be attending Mercer County Community College and taking uh, hospitality classes there in the, in the program that they have there. So congratulations, Zadina. Uh, for the STEM Academy, which is also held at the uh, SIPEC campus, is uh, Sanjana Vital. She'll be attending Cornell University. So awesome on that. Uh, the next one actually is a little bit uh, close to me because I taught him for three years is uh, for the Health Science Academy on the Aspen campus is uh, Kirlos Azar. Uh, he's going to be going to uh, NJIT. Congrats on that. Um, for the SIPEC campus for the shared time programs, uh, Kayla pagano Bukowski. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly there. Uh, going to be going uh, me, uh, taking Advanced Institute for Hair and Makeup and working at Main Street Salon. Um, Regardless of the fact that I don't have much hair, my wife is actually a, a previous grad from the cosmetology program, so always good to see somebody else still doing that as well. Um, and then for the Aspen campus, uh, Callie Kosman is going to be studying uh, Bachelor of Arts uh, of Sciences in Nursing. So uh, thank you guys for your our participation and outstanding performance at your time here at the school. Mr. Orff. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mr. Baldino. Um, oh, thank you, Ms. Feliciano. That's very nice. Yes, welcome, everybody. Um, outstanding. Congratulations to all of our students. Uh, well done. Um, next, up on the, next up on the list are the Oshevsky Awards. Um, and all right, great. <clears throat> well, thank you, Mr. Orff and Mr. Nash for the opportunity to be part of the general advisory board for Mercer County Technical Schools. I'd like to thank Mrs. Cardinale and Mrs. Cash for the thoroughly prepared students that we've had the opportunity to employ over the last 20 years in our three Great Clip salons at Nassau Park, Hamilton Marketplace, and East Windsor. They've not only given these students the important technical skills that they needed to be successful on the job, but they've also prepared them with the soft skills that are needed to excel. Skills like good communication skills, customer service, professional appearance, teamwork, good work habits, and a commitment to improving their skills. These are all the attributes that Great Clip Salons look for in a qualified candidate. Today, we have a young lady from Mrs. Cash's class that embodies all these qualities. Tony Hennessy is a standout in her class. She is committed to excellence in the field of cosmetology. Her peers say she's dependable, a hard worker, and really enjoys doing hair. She has chosen a career with Studio 160 as an apprentice, and they're very lucky to have her. So I'm happy to announce that this year's recipient of the Great Clips Scholarship for Excellence in cosmetology goes to Tony Hennessy. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Shira. And uh, a, a big, big, big congratulations to Internet. Um, outstanding. Congratulations. Beg your pardon. Here we go. I have to keep flipping back and forth so I can. Uh, share my screen, so apologies if there are these uh, small delays. Um, this is an award that we're very, very proud to give uh, each year, the Heddle Award, um, and I'll just let uh, Christine Mahler take it away, uh, the presenter and, and uh, uh, sponsor of this award. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Orff. Um, hello, my name is Christine Heddle Mahler. Um, my son was Tyler Heddle. He attended uh, Mercer County Technical School and loved it the entire time he was there. Um, his teacher, um, Mr. Schroeder, uh, was a big example uh, and stood up for him and uh, taught him a lot of things. And I think that Mr. Schroeder uh, is a fantastic teacher and he continues to excel with his students every year, even during these trying times of COVID um, to make these students special. Um, Tyler was an individual who cared. He cared about learning, he cared about people, he cared about his environment. And according to Mr. Schroeder, um, so is the recipient of this year's award for the Tyler Heddle Scholarship. Uh, that is a young gentleman. Um, he is also going to continue uh, on his education in post-secondary school by attending the Universal Technical Institute and continuing his degree in diesel technology, diesel technology as well as the automotive field. So I'm very, very uh, happy to give the Tyler Heddle Scholarship to Ryan Bush. Outstanding. There we go. Congratulations, Ryan. Uh, and thank you very, very much, Ms. Mahler. We, we really, really appreciate it. Um, here we go. I got the best mom in the world for a shop mom. <laughs> I, I agree, Mr. Schroeder. You do have the best mom in the world for a shop mom. I'm going to back up to the Yashevsky Awards um, just in case. Uh, Carla, if you are here, jump right in and interrupt me. Um, but we are uh, excited and pleased uh, to be able to, uh, to give both of these awards. One of these awards is in honor of uh, Richard Oshevsky, uh, and the other one is in honor of um, Elizabeth Oshevsky. Uh, both of those members, uh, generations earlier than this, um, have been huge supporters of career technical education um, as well and, and big, big believers in, in everything that we do here at Mercer County Technical Schools. Um, we like to thank uh, uh, Carla and her sister for carrying on that tradition um, and, and being so generous with our students year in and year out. Um, the two recipients this year are Diana Coronado and Eileen Jones. And on behalf of the Oshevsky family uh, and Mercer County Technical Schools, we'd like to congratulate both of those. Um, Eileen is from our uh, uh, graphic arts program, and uh, excuse me, yes, and, and Diana is from uh, criminalistics. Um, thank you. And Mr. Bender is waving his criminalistics shirt. Uh, congratulations, you guys. Very, very happy for you and, and proud to have you as part of our MCTS community. And uh, the final award of today, um, and we still, still have more stuff to talk about afterwards, but uh, our last award that we'll be giving away today is, of course, the General Advisory Award. Um, here to present these two awards are Mr. Nash will present the award for the CIPEC Center, and Ms. Ferdetta uh, will present the award for the Aspen Pink Center. Um, take it away, Mr. Nash. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, we're excited to, to share these amazing awards uh, as all of us, uh, me representing all of us, the General Advisory uh, Committee, and, and in essence, the community. And uh, the student that we've chosen uh, for the SIPEC Center has exemplified incredible uh, a presence on campus when we were on campus and, and, and exceeded expectations while we were dealing with these tricky times. And uh, Brianna Eckel Safrazi is an incredible young lady who's going to college at Jersey City University, and she'll be playing soccer there, as her icon indicated uh, before she clicked on to, to show her. She's a heck of a soccer player. Obviously, Coach Simic is involved in that some way, somehow, some form. But either way, kudos to her, and, and congratulations for rising up during these tricky times, and uh, we're super proud of you as the General Advisory Committee. And Ms. Ferdetta. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so for the Assapink Center, we picked a student that um, had high academic achievement, um, had a lot of school and community um, activity and participation. Um, we actually um, picked 
Rebecca Carbo. She is the second year student in Carpentry and Mr. Nace's class. She has been a fantastic student both years at the Astapink Center. She's an honor student. She takes AP classes at Lawrence. Um, she participates in their after school program. She's track and field. Um, her achievements are incredible and she's only gonna continue to do great things. She plans on um, taking her passion for design and construction and majoring in civil engineering and construction. So Rebecca, you were a great student. I'm so proud of you and I see only but good things in your future. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much um, for presenting those awards, Mr. Nash and Ms. Fredetta, and thank you very much to our students. Um, couldn't, couldn't be happier for you guys, uh, Brianna and Rebecca. Um, congratulations to all of our uh, award recipients. You will, uh, if you don't know already and have not been contacted already, some of you have, um, but you will be contacted with, uh, uh, by our main office staff to find out how to get your award, uh, how to retrieve it, and um, uh, all the rest. I have a couple things I want to uh, just discuss um, uh, very quickly. And, and then I want to open up the floor to, to any new business. Um, we have some new members here with us today, and I want to, I want to let all of you know that um, these meetings, they meet three times a year, um, are an incredible networking opportunity. Um, and it really does, and, and you just meet people. Um, one of the sidebar benefits is um, we make a phenomenal lunch uh, that is prepared by our Culinary Academy students. Uh, and then you get dessert. Uh, prepared by our baking and dining students and served by the whole team. Um, so please keep all of that in mind. Um, and uh, uh, so when you come next year, it's an excellent networking opportunity. Um, it's also a great, great chance to, uh, to get out and meet people. And most of all, you really are influencing um, what happens uh, in the business world. You're really influencing our community and informing our programs and helping us educate these students. Um, there's another award uh, that I was I was waiting uh, for somebody else to, to come, um, but I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to handle it myself. Um, a student uh, by the name of Ryan Fisher uh, is here with us, and I think her I think her parents uh, are with us as well, um, Mr. and Mrs. Fisher. Thank you. Um, this award is uh, is given by the Hamilton Partnership, and they've asked me to uh, to to prepare this uh, and present it to Ryan uh, on their behalf. Um, mayor Jack Rafferty was the first full-time mayor of Hamilton Township. His vision for Hamilton as an economic engine for not only the county, but for the state is continuing to be realized. He created the Hamilton Partnership to help local government and the business community have a place where they can work together for the betterment of the township. And with his drive and civic uh, sense of civic duty in the mind, uh, the Hamilton Partnership has awarded three $500 scholarships to graduating seniors um, with plans to attend college in the fields of study of political science, uh, economic business, or government. And one of those students is our very own, you've met her before at the last meeting, folks, our very own Ryan Fish Fisher. Congratulations, Fish. Very, very happy for you and for all, all that you've done. Uh, Fish is an Eagle Scout. Um, she built an outdoor classroom uh, as her Eagle Scout project. Um, she is a, a, an outstanding high-level kid and has done so much for our school. Um, both, both on recruitment efforts and uh, media and everything else. So, Fish, we, we're going to miss you. Thank you, Orv. <laughs> She's going to Kansas University next year. She is a Jayhawk. Um, thank you, Ms. Driver. Thank you very much. Um, thanks to all of our. Okay, now we're open for new business. Questions, comments, concerns. Uh, let's let's hear what all of you have to say. Um, Parents, also, if you want to keep typing in the chat, we love to see those positive comments about the kids uh, for yourselves. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Very nice. Um, good. If there is nothing else, if there are no other uh, concerns or comments, then I want to uh, congratulate all of our award winners. Yes, Ms. Rosa, I see a hand up, please. Oh, you might be on mute. Sorry about that. It was just an accident. But I just oh. want to congratulate everyone, all the um, recipients of the award, <laughs> including Rebecca Carbo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, that's very, that's very nice. Um, yeah, congratulations to all of our recipients. 
And um, uh, thanks once again to all of our members for being here, our staff members. Um, we're really looking forward to next year uh, back in full force, uh, back under the same roof and, and everybody getting their hands on instruction and learning. Um, thanks to our teachers for working so hard all year. And uh, I think I will, I think I will wrap this up if there's no other business. Uh, Mr. Uh, I think Ms. Scott has some, her hand up. Oh, please. Yes. Congratulations to everybody. Um, Mr. Or if possible, um, because I'm on the Lawrence Township Board of Education, if you could send me the information on a recipient for um, the Lawrence um, student that received. So when I have my board meeting, I like to mention that. Yes, that's, that's Rebecca, right? Isn't that you, Rebecca? Aren't you, Lawrence? And yeah, that is Rebecca. I would gladly send you the information. Thank you so very Just much. <laughs> if you type your name in the chat, I'll email you. Okay, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, Ms. Scott. Thanks, Ms. Mm -hmm. Fredetta. I'll, I'll get you her. I'll get you her email address and stuff too, Megan. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. This has been wonderful. Thank you all for joining us. Thanks to our donors. Thanks to our supporters um, and our administration. Uh, everybody, have a great day, and uh, congratulations. We want students. You got to come back and see us and tell us where you're at. Okay. Come back and. All right, Mr. Orf, I'll see you in about an hour. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.